Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Welcome to The Program Fuckers. And today I'm doing a paid review. This is for Lee. Hi, Arts. Just wanted to get your opinion on my next purchase. Love your channel. Keeps me very entertained. And you definitely have some great advice along the way. My current collection is based around the following. A Zenith El Primo 1969 re-edition, one of 500. An Amiga Seamaster SM300 Master Coaxial. And a Mont Blanc. <coughs> Mont Blanc Nicolas Rizouk. I also have a Pam 1951 Fiddy, currently locked away. And a few I don't want to tell you about as they weren't cheap. And I know you'll call me a stupid fucker. However, I am a sensible buyer, never pay full retail. My trick is to go in store, have the whole experience, <coughs> and chat, get the latest brochure, and then go online and purchase from a discount route. It's not that I can't afford retail, but why would you? Exactly! Anyway, my main question is, I have recently been drawn to Rolex as my next purchase. The Amiga was a step into the theory hand, and I am swaying to this idea. Less is more. Here is the thing. I don't like having the same as everyone, and the Yachtmaster 40mm Platinum is saying, buy me. I am looking second-hand market for four to fifty thousand four hundred four thousand two hundred and fifty UK pounds. Just under, just over nine thousand RZ. Or do I find a nice sub for the same money? It's the platinum and the fact less piece people seem to have it that's tugging me. Anyway, thanks for entertaining. P.S. I don't mind if you rip my collection. I will send you PayPal payment now. Lee. Lee, thank you so much. Let's look at your collection. Okay. The Zenith El Primo 1969 re-edition. Cool. That is fucking cool. Well done. The Omega, I just got this big fucking lighthouse watch on my wrist. Big lighthouse watch there. Watch check. Panerai, fuckers. The Omega Seamaster 300 Master Coaxial. Ah, uh, yep. That's okay. Tick of approval. It's okay. It's okay. The Mont Blanc, no fucking way in the world. Get rid of that shitter. Get rid of that shitter. Sorry. The Pam 1950? Yes, I, I'm, I'm wearing a Pam myself now. Uh, as for your question, do you go for the Yachty or do you go for a sub? What a, what a fucking... I know the dilemma. What would I do? Good question. I'm pleased you're asking the expert. Look, the Yacht Master isn't a bad piece, but they... I remember when they came out in the 90s, they were cool, super cool, but they've gotten soft. Rolex introduced that stupid new Roll Yachtmaster 2 with the fucking yachting regatta timer, which is fucking useless complication. You're looking at this, the, the original Yachtmaster. You know something? I really love a gold yacht master. They are so cool. My friend Brian has got the gold yacht master. It's a lot cheaper than the gold Submariner that I have. So if I had my time again, if I was buying a solid gold fuck off piece, I'd probably go gold yacht master. Okay, because it's quite a bit of a saving compared to a gold Submariner. But when it comes to the Yachtmaster in steel with the platinum bezel, I'm sorry. Go with the Submariner. You know something? I'll tell you what the smart money is. The smart money, don't go for a subby, go for a pre-ceramic sea dweller. That is the smart money, okay? That's the clever fuckers would go. Because the sea dweller, that's a very big complication. It can go fucking deep. It goes deep. Put the helium escape valve. I reckon that is the sleeper. That's the bargain buy in that price point. I'm Archie Luxury. The guru has spoken. Thank you very much. And uh, see you later, fuckers.
Nice one, Archie. Great vid. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.